Bingo! Alright, this episode's brought to you by Wind Waker Zelda. Please give me the shield I have been waiting for since the beginning of the game. You are not the shield. Also, durability up. <laughs> it's like, that's all the kinds of shields I've been getting lately. Oh, man. I have so many durability up shields, I don't think it's worth it. And you know what I say to that? Hey, you ladies want a shield? You could have it. Hey there, guys. Luigi Vance here. Welcome back to an episode of Breath of the Wild. Last time. Well, we beat up another Moduga and rode through the sands and... Rode through the sands. And now this episode... <laughs> we're gonna go here. Alright, I'm gonna die immediately because it's cold as heck. Where's the... I need to immediately aim straight down. That is not straight down, that is literally leading me to death. Hi, don't mind me! Don't mind me, I'm just passing through here! Leave me alone, I'm just snowboarding, hi! No! Okay, thanks! Bye! I just want to get down here. Is that so hard? Is that too much to ask? Apparently! Oh gosh. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. I made it. I made it. I made it. We here. We here. We're back into Yiga hideout. Ah, and those are my two adventuring buddies, Mills and his sister, who is a bitch. Yeah. I hear the Yiga claim we're taken out by a traveling swordsman, and yet... There are still an awful lot of them around. They seem to be hoarding bananas, too. They're still not, is they're still up to no good? I know one thing for sure. The orb they stole from the Gerudo tribe is in their second floor storage area. But getting there is too dangerous. Staying alive is essential to being a great treasure hunter. Yo, no, yo, I'm the traveling swordsman. What's up? Hmm? Are you looking for treasure, too? The Yiga clan. They took one of the Gerudo tribe's treasures in there. A sacred orb or something. It looked like it could sell for a high price, so I followed them, but, well, now I'm thinking I should probably back away while I still can. Wait, you don't think? You're not planning to throw the sacred orb into that big gaping hole like that old legend says, right? Well, you gave me some key information, so peace out. <laughs> I'm going in. I hope it's not like another stealth thing, because I can't handle any more stealth. Not after last time. Not after the last time I had to come through here. So, some, so for some, uh... Oh, great, they are there. <laughs> ah! They are there. Ooh, boy. They're back. And they're dangerous. And if I get spotted, I probably get kicked out. Yo, you don't see anything, buddy. You don't see me. Can I, can I, can I strike you? I can't strike you. Okay. So, can I? I should probably put on the Sheikah stealth suit. <laughs> but it's fine. I just gotta be careful. And not get spotted. Now, if only I remember where the entrance was. I think it was right here, where this dude is walking around. Yeah, that's the way. Hi, what's up? Well, looks like I'm in trouble again. Well, it's, like, a little bit easier this time, since, like, I am better equipped and better prepared this time. Now, will this work? I don't know. Will I get kicked out? Who knows? Is there any more? Any more gonna show up? Well, I'm just gonna go up here now. Thanks. This is not the direction I want to be. 
<laughs> this is not the direction I want to be at. Oh, hi. This game lagged hard. Hi, what's up? I see you have found me. I'm just gonna keep swinging my sword until, like, you're dead. Hey, I did it! I did a thing that I couldn't do in the past because I didn't have a Rose of Fury. Sweet! Now that I decided to go through the hard-headed brute all-out attack, I can now fully explore this place. Also, I was on- I was completely wrong. It was right over here the whole time. Actually, I can now raid this thing. Oh no, my scimitar broke. It's okay, I have the Master Sword. The Master Sword is running low on energy. What the heck did I use you on? Oh great, I picked up another torch. I don't want another torch. Where is it? It's back here, right? Yeah, I don't want another torch, thank you. I just, I just want one. There's no real need for two. Well, I mean, I might as well pick up all these rupees and junk that I have. Ooh, money. Alright, uh, now I, now I lost track to where I was. I think it was over there. Yeah, I was completely wrong. <laughs> it was right over here. You think I know, but I don't. And you know what? I bet you if I went on, went to the main entrance, like, they will all be there. Back there. Just like this orb. This orb wasn't there before. But I'll take all these bananas. Let me grab it. These two adventurers are too weak to like, oh, I don't want to go in there. There's a possibility I could die. Ooh, look at me. Oh, I'm a, I'm a treasure hunter and I know when not to go. Ooh, I'm making fun of them, but like, really, that's what I would have done. I would have been like, nah, this is too much for me, bro. I'm out of here. Hi, what's up? Can I talk to you? Did you really go in there and nab that orb? You stole it, yeah? You really did? Yikes, if they find out, they'll surely chase you down till the end of time. You're right. Hey, Mina, look what I have. That orb. Could it be? Is it? Is that the treasure to Gerudo? That is so not fair. We found it first. Yeah, well, you, you were like, uh-uh, no, I'm like, I'm scared. Well, bye now. It's mine now, I can do whatever the hell I want, and what I want is to yeet this thing into this hole. Peace out! You know, when you really think about it, that's where Koga died. When you really think about it, that's where he died, and I just yeeted a, an orb, to, possibly on top of his corpse. Oh, hey, you two are coming here. What's up? Ooh, you threw the precious treasure down below. What were you thinking? Bruh. You're throwing away treasure? You do realize how wasteful that is, right? If you didn't want it, I would have been happy to take it off your hands. But did you not see the shrine? Okay, whatever. Well, you two continue to mope about the treasure that I yeeted to, to a gaping hole. But I have a shrine to go through. That I opened. <laughs> that you guys can't. Like, really, why get so upset? Oh, speaking of boxes. <laughs> What's inside the box? I don't know, you tell me. Uh, I know this. And this is interesting. So, like, you have to look inside and count how many of the different colored orbs you see. So, I see one of the spotted, two yellows... 
three of the purples? And two of the greens? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. So, like... Oops, I accidentally brought up the Master Sword. So, I see two of the yellow... Two of the greens. One of the red. Nope, don't, don't just... Don't just drop and run. Uh, two of the yellows and three of the purple blues. Is it purple or blue? It's purple. I don't know. It looks more purple to me. Am I right? I'm not right. That means I was wrong about something. Let's see here. Yeah, I see one yellow. Oh, there's four of the purples. Oh. And then I see two yellows and two greens. Right? Yeah, two yellows, two greens, and four purples. Oh, I was off by one. Why'd you, like, change every time I look in there? Alright, that was the solution. Thank you. At least I was right. <laughs> and, uh, before I, uh... Before I go in there, I don't remember. I think it was the bottom one. We'll just bring it back to, bring it back like this. Tr just trust me on this. When I say you might want to open it up, yeah, I was right. Oh, uh, direction. Which way? Which way's the direction? I know it's not directly pulling it. It's literally a direction. Can I not move it because it's not on straight? Is that it? That's the real reason? Okay. Look, I won't lie. This puzzle wasn't too challenging. Okay, let, let's put it straight. Okay. So, I should be able to open this. Yeah, so, like, this puzzle isn't challenging. Oh, I see where I need to pull. I, I didn't mean to try to call pants, but okay. Uh, so I need the metal orbs for something, and I don't remember what. Ah. That, that's for what? They just, they have their own holes to go into. I just don't know if, like, size matters or not. I don't remember. I don't remember, I just want to complete this puzzle and call it a day. That was all I want to do, is that so hard? At least they're- at least you can pick them up. Yeah, it don't matter, you just- you just need to put them in there. No, unfortunately, the last one's all the way on the other side. What? That was... Enough? Question mark? Uh... Okay... Was it just trying to find the right hole? Cause I thought you need all three to activate the door. Not just the one. Am I wrong? I will never find out the answer. Because <laughs> it opened with two orbs. Okay, sure, whatever. I'm not complaining. Just give me my last orb and I'll get out of here. Bing. Yo, you are resourceful. Congrats, take this final emblem. You've done it. You have found all the orbs. Go to Divine Beast Naboris. Fades away to dusk. Are they still there? Oh yeah, they're still there. <laughs> Being distraught about me throwing away the treasure. Welp, too bad for you. I am going. All 
right, you know the deal. Oh, I just realized I'm going in there with Alabrosa's Fury. Oh boy, this will be fun and interesting. Oh boy. Ah, oh, I see you made it this far. This is the final Divine Beast, you know, that you gotta revisit. So, uh, you know, let me have those emblems and then, you know, let, let, let's take a trip down memory lane, huh? If you, if you like determination, then this is gonna suck for you, and trust me, it will suck. There's a lot of lightning, and you won't have your equipment. You're just gonna have whatever the Gerudo region has. So, I understand this is your true nightmare. I, I hear you have real bad dreams about this. Yeah, I I'm pretty sure everyone has. But don't worry. It's not real. This is all in your mind. J except you die for real. Anyways, you gotta prove victorious again with the tools that only the Gerudos have. Like, this wouldn't be so bad if I have a Brosis Fury, but the fact that I used it all up in the last one... Also, I'm in Divine Beast all of a sudden. Let me see what equipment I have. Shield of Mind's Eye, of course. I'm wearing the Desert Vos uh, set. <laughs> oh, hey, look! All these things that I can't cook! So let me get to the ground floor. Where are you? Oof! What's up, bro? Well, whatever. Daruk, you're just you're gonna help me a lot, and since you can recharge fast, it's fine with me. Yeah, nice try, buddy. You know, technically I was able to do it a-okay, no problem, but sure, game. I don't have a bow or an arrow, do I? I think I literally just have a sword and shield. And then once those items go away, you're essentially screwed. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're just gonna keep doing that, aren't you? Ow! How did I not block that? You know, I could just break your shield all I want, and I could do that. No problem. And then you're just gonna keep doing your electrical charge. You have your shield back. And I can't target you. Alright, halfway point. That isn't too bad. Now the lightning happens. Again, if I had a bolt of fury, this wouldn't have been a problem. But no, I decided to waste it. On the previous boss. Where are you? I can't. I don't like that. I can't. I don't like that. I can't find you. Where are you? No, for real. There you are. How the hell did you get over there? And you're doing the same thing again. Okay. Yo, this isn't fair. <laughs> Alright, at least I know where you are this time. Come on, grab one of them. Grab one of them. Ugh. This is like the most annoying thing ever. Quick!
I'm too slow. It went off immediately. That's dumb. Hi, right, can I just eat this at you? My god, finally. Hi, nice to see you back on the ground. Ow! Of course I dropped my items. Okay, buddy! Thank you. Ugh, I hate this. I hate this boss fight so much! Because of bullshit! like that oh you know what would be great if I had a bonus fury or like this dude wasn't electrified that also would have helped and now he's back in the air ow oh come on it's like it's not it's not hard enough, but the fact that he keeps doing this shit. Oh, fishwife, you better be ready to, like, recover my health. Oh, good. I finally dodged. I finally got the timing down so I could do a flurry attack. This stupid piece of garbage thing. I hate it so much. Oof. That would have been a great counter. Yeah. <sighs> Man, I love ragdolling. Oh, thank you! You came at the perfect time! God, that was dumb! It's really stalling for Abosa's Fury to pop up! This just proves that this is the worst boss fight. I hate it so much, mainly because of the electric element. And the fuck that, and the fact that he's Sonic. The fuck, yes, the fuck he's Sonic. That's the answer. Literally the worst one. Oh. Are you still adrift in thought? You seem lost to the whims of your mind. Oh, pardon me. I suppose it's none of my business. Ah, uh, wandering around here and listening to the anecdotes about Champion Obosa has truly invigorated me. In fact, it has inspired me to honor her in my own way, separate from my teacher's unfinished song. This is why I felt inclined to roost here near the Divine Beast Volnaboris, which Obosa herself mastered. I've written a song to try and capture the essence of Champion Obosa. Princess of Hyrule, I accept your proposition without hesitation. Not only are they planning to resurrect Calamity Ganon, 
It seems the Yiga clan is also after our treasured heirloom. You have my word. I won't rest until the calamity falls. Gerudo Chief Obosa. On behalf of Hyrule and its king, I thank you. <laughs> I've never seen you so serious, Urbosa. Oh my. <laughs> I can't say the same. Ten years ago, you rarely smiled, my little bird. Urbosa, I feel like you've called me Little Bird before. I was wondering where you got that name from. Huh? Halt and face me. Unlike you traitors, I prefer to fight my enemies head on. Do your worst. <laughs> Our princess, you may keep your lives. Now go. <sighs> you asked me why I call you Little Bird. Huh? When you were but a small child, my dear friend called you that with the sweetest smile that ever graced our land of Hyrule. You mean mother? It was ten long years ago. Your mother had just left this world. Yet her little bird still spread her wings and became the beacon of light Hyrule needed. <laughs> Sometimes I forget myself and get lost in the past. Hmm, though she was a fierce warrior, the Gerudo chief was also a loving friend of Hyrule's princess. So, what do you think of Champion Obrosa's song? By writing a song that honors the heart of the Champion Obrosa, I feel closer than ever to my dear teacher. The missing verses of an ancient song. I think the perfect setting would be Hyrule Castle in the distant past. I must say, you are an impressive bow. You may now wield Urbosa's fury far more often. You are the pride of Hyrule, hero. Take care of our princess. I'm leaving that honor in your capable hands. Sweet. Now I got more uses out of that. And by that, I mean recharging faster. Haha! <laughs> I did it. Hey, what's up? It's me, the one who issued you the trial. Hey, congrats! You conquered all four divine beasts! By the way, there is a final trial, and you should go to the Shrine of Resurrection, because it's open now. So go there and face your destiny! Yeah, that's it. Open your map. Right there. See? That, that yellow dot. Okay. But before we do that, we got some lore to read, and I have to go all the way to Gerudo Town. I should just warp there. What am I doing? <laughs> hey, what's up? It's been a long time. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you're indebted to me, Champion's Arms, Thunderhelm, yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, where's the chief? I didn't mean- I did not mean- but whatever. Where's the chief? Chief's enjoying a moment of respite in her bedroom. You better treat her with respect or else. <laughs> About that... Oh, did I? Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, did I really lose the champion's arms? No. I forgot, she's the person who I talk to if I ever want uh, Urbosa's gear again. Which I don't! But whatever. Seal. Oh, look at her, she's sleeping with the seal plush. And that's that. Well, time to read this diary. Sure, let's read Urbosa's fury. Fury diary? <laughs> Riju has like a lot of sand seal plushies, that's weird. My dear friend from the far came to visit Garuda Town today. It's always a pleasure to see the Queen of Hyrule. She described her reason for coming as urgent. She wished for me to meet her newborn child. Her sweet daughter's name is Zelda. She has her mother's smile. I cannot help but cherish her al already. I told her that Zelda is sure to grow up into a dignified and beautiful queen, just like her mother. My friend thanked me, but said that she looks th th but said that looks are fleeting, and instead she wishes for Zelda to be blessed with true happiness. The way she gazes upon her daughter, her little bird as she calls her, I have never seen such unconditional love. It has been a long while since we laid my dear friend the queen to rest. I only now have the will to write again. It was so sudden. I still can't believe she's gone. All of my sweet memories of her keep running through my mind. Even now I can hardly keep the tears at bay. Young Zelda kept her head held high as she said her final goodbye to her mother at the funeral. She carried herself as a true princess, but I can sense the deep grief she is hiding within. I worry for her. I made a voyage to visit Hyrule. After speaking with the king, I saw Zelda for the first time in a year. In truth, it was my concern for her that brought me there. The king allowed me to keep her company as she went to the spring for her training. There, Zelda prayed and prayed in the spring's icy waters until the sun set. I told her many times to sob, but she wouldn't listen. I eventually had to drag her out of the water. Zelda gazed at me for the longest time with heartbreaking vulnerability. Eventually, in a tiny voice, she told me of the pressure and panic she feels at not being, being able to fulfill her sacred duty. She whispered over and over, why can't, I not do the, why can't I not do as the royal daughters of the past have done? What is wrong with me? All I could do was hold her close and listen. I pray it is enough. Emissaries from Hyrule came to see me today. They informed me that I have been chosen to pilot the Divine Beast. My people are uneasy about it. They tell me such a dangerous task is not fitting for the Chief. I understand their fear. However, I intend to accept this task. Calamity Ganon's resurrection does not only threaten Hyrule, but the whole world. I refuse to sit idly by. Ganon is also closely associated with the Gerudo. An association I deeply resent. I believe Zelda will be here soon to receive my official answer. I'm excited to see her, as always. I attended the inauguration ceremony alongside the other champions who I shared that fate with. Zelda, Rivali, Mifa, and Link are so young. They are Hyrule's future. Daruk and I hope to help them see that future. However, one thing did trouble me. Zelda was... uncharacteristically cold toward Link. I can imagine why. I hear Link has been assigned as Zelda's guardian knight. I hope they find a way to get along. Link, requ Link requested me to meet with me today. He tells me Zelda exploited our law that restricts men from entering town to slip away from him. I told him of a trick that will allow him to, uh, allow him entrance, and he was able to get in. By then, however, Zelda was long gone. I promised to let him know if I saw her, so he reluctantly returned home. In a similar yet distinct way, Link seems to have trouble expressing himself. Perhaps the two can help each other. That is, if she ever gives him a chance. Today, I accompanied Zelda as she went to research Naboris. When the sun set, the poor exhausted girl drifted to sleep. I sent word to Link, who showed up at Naboris faster than I expected. Although it is none of my business, I felt the least I could do is to, uh, the least I could do to bridge their gap was to share some things about Zelda. The rest is up to them. I'm so happy to say that Zelda smiles much more often lately. It seems she and Link have finally learned to get along. I hope this will have a positive effect on her training. However, I'm concerned we may be running out of time. Whenever I hear mo of monster attacks or other unusual events plaguing the kingdom, my concern grows. All I could do is pray that Zelda, my little bird, has enough time. I do not pray to the goddess, but to her mother, my dearest friend. How I miss her. Aww. Herbosa always has a soft spot. Also, Link has his secret for the longest time. 
All right, well, that's it. <laughs> Riju's asleep, so I can't bother her. I'm pretty sure she's active at night. But I'm not 100% sure, and I'm not going to find out. So that's going to be it for this episode. So if you like what you see here, then sub that like button. Really like what you see here, then sub the subscribe button. You won't regret it. If you do, blame yourself for listening to me. And next time, we done it all. We conquered all four trials yet again. Now all that's left is to go back to the Shrine of Resurrection. And I'll see you guys then. The answer is yes, by the way. W what? The sand sealed stuffed animals? Uh, don't, don't worry about them. Just, just ignore them, okay? Besides, town hero, no, you shouldn't just come wandering into someone's room at this time of night. Yes, do you need something? Yeah, well, can you tell me about Abrosa? You wish to seek of Lady Orbosa? Hmm, what an interesting request. After Naboris was tamed, we located Lady Orbosa's diary. As you're here, I shall tell you something from it. Lady Orbosa had a beloved friend, whom she thought of the world she thought the world of, the Queen of Hyrule. Such a big heart. Our Lady Orbosa was admirable in every aspect of her life. Her diary? The Lady Orbosa's diary is on the sofa. Since she trusted you, I'm certain she wouldn't mind you reading it. Ha! <laughs> I've already read it without your permission. What do you have to say about that? But, for for real though, you, you have a lot of sand seal plushes. I'm not judging.